Cosmo Skymed constellation of small satellites for the Mediterranean Basin observation is an Earth observation satellite space-based radar system funded by the Italian Ministry of Research and Ministry of Defence and conducted by the Italian Space Agency ASI intended for both military and civilian use the space segment of the system includes four identical medium-sized satellites equipped with synthetic aperture radar SAR sensors with global coverage of the planet observations of an area of interest can be repeated several times a day in all weather conditions the imagery will be applied to defense and security assurance in Italy and other countries, seismic hazard analysis, environmental disaster monitoring, and agricultural mapping. <laughs> <laughs> Space segment The four satellites are in sun-synchronous polar orbits with a 97.9 degrees inclination at a nominal altitude of 619 km and an orbital period of 97.2 minutes. The local time ascending node at the equator is 6 o'clock. The expected operating life of each satellite is estimated to be 5 years. Each satellite repeats the same ground track every 16 days, and all of the satellites follow the same ground track. They cross the equator at 6 o'clock and 1800 local time each day. The satellites are phased in the same orbital plane, with Cosmo Skymeds 1, 2 and 4 at 90 degrees to each other and Cosmo Skymed 3 at 67.5 degrees from Cosmo Skymed 2. This results in varied intervals between the satellites along the same ground track of between 1 and 15 days. The Sun-synchronous orbit is used to keep the solar cells illuminated at all times. The satellite's main components are Two solar arrays for 3.8 kW at 42 V DC Stabilization, navigation and GPS systems Synthetic aperture radar working in X band, 300 gigabits onboard memory and 310 megabits per second data link with ground segments. The radar antenna is a phased array that is 1.4 meters wide by 5.7 meters long. The system is capable of both single and dual polarization collection. The center frequency is 9.6 GHz with a maximum radar bandwidth of 400 MHz. <laughs> <laughs> Orbit Launch United Launch Alliance is providing launch services for the first three satellites. Satellite processing for the first two satellites was handled by the Astrotech Space Operations subsidiary of SPACEHAB. The first satellite was launched at 22:34 Greenwich Mean Time on the 8th of June 2007 aboard a Delta II 7420-10 rocket from Vandenberg AFB. An identical rocket launched Cosmo 2 at 2 hours 31 minutes and 42 seconds Greenwich Mean Time on the 9th of December 2007. The launch having been delayed from the 6th of December due to bad weather and problems with the rocket's cork insulation. Cosmo 3 launched at 2:38 Greenwich Mean Time on the 25th of October 2008, also aboard a Delta II 7420-10. A Delta II flying in the 7420-10 configuration will also be used to launch Cosmo 4. Launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base on November 5, 2010, at 1920 L. Topic. Ground segment The ground segment of the system is composed of Command Center Italian Centro Controllo e Pianificazione Missione del Fucino Tracking and Data Stations Argentine Cordoba Station 
Sweden Kiruna Station User ground segments Italian Matera Civil User Ground Segment Italian Pratica di Mare Defense User Ground Segment France Defense User Ground Segment The Argentinian and the French governments are involved respectively in the civil and military segments of the system. <laughs> SAR capabilities The Cosmo skimmed satellites have three basic types of imaging modes Spotlight, a high-resolution mode collected over a small area by steering the radar beam slightly fore to aft during the collection period. Stripmap, a medium-resolution mode collected over long, continuous swaths in which the beam is pointed broadside to the satellite track. Scanser, a low-resolution mode that creates extra-wide swaths by collecting short segments at different ranges and then mosaicing them together. There are two spotlight modes: SPOTLIGHT-1, which is a military-only mode, and SPOTLIGHT-2, which provides a resolution of 1 meter over a 10 km by 10 km area. Spotlight polarization is limited to either HH or VV. There are two strip map modes HIMAGE, which provides a resolution of between 3 and 5 m over a swath of 40 km, and Pingpong, which collects dual polarization data at 15 m resolution over a swath of 30 km. The dual polarization data can consist of any two polarizations HH, VV, VH, HV, and it is non-coherent, as it is collected in «pulse groups» that alternate from one polarization to the other. There are two scanser modes WIDEREGION, which provides 30 m resolution data over a swath of 100 km, and HUGEREGION, which provides 100 m resolution data over a swath of 200 km. The system is sized to collect up to 450 images per satellite per day. Commercialization <laughs> 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 Egeos, SPA, has the exclusive worldwide commercial rights to sell Cosmo Skymed data and products. Flares The Cosmo Skymed satellites are lesser known deliverers of satellite flares, sometimes approaching magnitude 3. Flares come mainly from SAR panels of the satellites. Although overshadowed by the Iridium satellites, the flares are often long-lasting, with the satellites traversing much of the sky at brighter than average magnitudes. See also SAR Lupe, a system of five military SAR satellites of Germany